When SpaceX launched its flagship model into space and the booster of the rocket returned to the ground, the world was in awe and wonder. It was like something out of a big budget Hollywood masterpiece. How on earth could someone have done it? It was an engineering and scientific brilliance. The landing of a rocket booster was one of the most important aeronautical achievements in the modern era and ignited a new revolution where other companies like Blue Origin and Boeing started working on reusable rockets. This led to the advent of new technologies for rocket building, new methods for space travel and the search for better ways to launch more and more payloads into space. One such development comes from a company named Spin Launch which is working on mass accelerator technology to move payloads into space, something like this. So let's understand this technology and see if it's really possible. My name is Siddharth and you're watching The World of Science. Spin Launch was founded in 2014 in Sunnyvale, California by Jonathan Yeni. Currently, the company is developing its 140,000 square foot headquarters in Long Beach and flight testing facility in New Mexico. They were named world's best employers in the space industry in 2021. They have successfully managed to raise $80 million in funding for their dream project which will be a new revolution in space travel. Spin Launch is working to replace the chemical rocket that is our normal rockets working on solid fuel or liquid propellant thus reducing the cost of space travelling and also increasing the frequency of launch. The concept used by Spin Launch is known as Mass Accelerator. It is a space launch system that is based on kinetic energy. They use a vacuum sealed centrifuge to spin the rocket at nearly 8000 km per hour and then they hurl it into space. Let us look at the mechanical arrangement of the kinetic launch system. The centrifuge is a circular vacuum chamber of 100 meters in diameter. At the center of the centrifuge is an electric motor drive that will give power to the rotating arm. The rotating arm or tether is built up of high tensile strength composite material that has integrated counterweight in the opposite direction of payload. The launch vehicle is placed at one end of the tether. An electric motor will drive the rotating arm which will achieve a huge velocity of 8000 km per hour and then the vehicle release mechanism will be activated. It is a fully safe separation system built by the company that dissociates the launch vehicle with the tether when a particular speed is achieved with an actuation accuracy of less than 1 millisecond. How cool is that? Once the rocket is released, it will travel at that high speed to reach the middle layer of the atmosphere and once it reaches an altitude of roughly 200,000 feet, the rocket engine ignites itself, increasing the speed to 28,200 km per hour that will put the vehicle in lower Earth orbit. Thus, the overall need for fuel decreases drastically and if this technology proves to be successful, then the frequency of rocket launching will increase tenfold. In October 2021, they launched their first vertical test of the accelerator at only 20% of the full capacity. A 3 meter long projectile was launched to an altitude of nearly 10,000 feet. The accelerator was only 33 meters in diameter which is one third of the proposed model dimension. The launch was successful and it was a stepping stone in the making of a new alternative. Once the full model, which is 100 meters in diameter, will be developed, it will be able to launch payloads from 20 to 200 kgs. Spin Launch started development in early 2015. Less than two years later, Spin Launch surpassed the world record for fastest rotational tip speeds and subsequently conducted hundreds of launches in its headquarters based laboratory. Space has been commercialized now. It is not only a race for two superpowers to show their power, but an opportunity for everyone having a certain level of curiosity to go out there and find out the mysteries in that dark abyss. Spin Launch has used a simple example, a game that everybody has played in their childhood. We have launch objects tied to a rope by rotating our arms. They have applied this technique to a magnificent level that can change space travel completely. This will decrease the dependence on fuels and many other countries will now be able to do something in this field. 
Can they launch humans to space using this method? Well, no. It's practically impossible for astronauts to sit in a capsule enduring over 10,000 g on the end of that long carbon fiber arm as it spins up to extraordinary speed then releases it skyward at more than six times the speed of sound. But with the industry's plans to launch 10 times the number of satellites over the next decade, it is more urgent than ever to develop environmentally sustainable space access technology. Because kinetically launched satellites exit the stratosphere without a rocket, Spin Launch enables a future in which constellations of satellites and space payloads can be launched with zero emissions in the most critical layers of the atmosphere. If successful, the acceleration concept is projected to lower the cost of launches and use much less power with the price of a single space launch reduced to under $500,000, which is currently around $7 million. In a future where large numbers of people are traveling to space, structures, equipment and supplies required to support in-space civilization must also be launched. For tens of thousands of people to someday work and live in space, millions of tons of infrastructure and supplies must be launched. Spin launch ensures that can be done with the least environmental impact possible. In April 2022, Spin Launch received a contract from NASA to launch a payload using its launch system. The test flight, which is expected later this year, will provide valuable information to NASA for potential future commercial launch opportunities. Spin Launch is still a very early stage and it still has a lot of distance to cover. To increase the payload and to be able to lift mankind to Mars, more power is needed. So there is also a debate of hope versus hype. But initial success has given a boost to the company and we hope that it will be a landmark achievement in the coming future. So what are your thoughts about this crazy technology by Spin Launch? Let us know in the comments. If you found this video interesting, please leave a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Check out the latest issue of our magazine Cosmos Now, which is India's first independent astronomy magazine. Link is in the description. Do follow us on Instagram for daily quality content that'll make you fall in love with science. Make sure you subscribe to the world of science. Until next time, stay scientific.